Hey Capricorn, this is Crystal Lee with We Are Magic. I am doing a tarot reading for you. Um, a Angels and Ancestor Oracle reading and a Starseed Oracle reading, okay? So first we're going to start with what angels and ancestors and messages, what messages do they have for you, who's working with you. And I appreciate you, Capricorn, for tuning in. Please, if this reading resonates with you, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on what videos I post and what shenanigans I get into. Because like I said, it's not always about tarot. I won't always be doing this. Um, I will be discussing, you know, just browse my channel now. If you want to, you can pause it and come back. Um, I've been going through the spiritual awakening process since basically 2017 and 18. And uh, I just want to journey that and, you know, go through that with you guys as a collective and just explain to you what I've been going through. So if you're going through the same thing, you know, we understand. Oh, you already got a pop out. Capricorn, what's going on? You got mountains. <laughs> Stand your ground. Very good. Good energy. Capricorn. Oh, sorry. That is crazy that that card popped out. <clears throat> okay, we got some pop outs coming out for you. <laughs> Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Soul, soul, Capricorn. Oh my God. I'm excited. I'm stuttering. Your energy is a little thick. Whew. Child. All right, I'm going to read what these mean for you. I appreciate you hanging out. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Okay, stand your ground. This is your mountain card, okay? Hold firm to what you believe in or are focusing on because it is absolutely right, Capricorn. Know that heaven and earth are supporting you. Mountains are strong and wise. They are rooted deep in the earth and reach high into the sky. They have been where they are for thousands of years. They have been home to animals. They have been climbed by humans and they have seen seasons come and go. No matter what has happened to them, they have remained strong, immovable and unshakable. And so they offer the spiritual energies of strength and resilience like you, Cap. Mountain energy is a powerful, I'm sorry, mountain energy is powerful because it's firmly rooted in the great mother, hallelujah, and reaches high to the great father, praise you If you are feeling challenged or pressured at this time, know that your spirit is more powerful than you think, Capricorn. You are resilient and grounded, and the energy and air of the mountains is giving you the unshakable strength to be who you are. Take time to root yourself deeply in the energy of the earth before welcoming in the energies of heaven. If you're not sure what you need to do next, the mountain card invites you to stay exactly where you are. Talk things over with those around you and know that change will come to you. Capricorns do not like change. Did you hear what that card just said? Change will come to you, Capricorn. Embrace it. You will be whole and well at the end of this current situation, and it will not stand in the way of your future growth and expansion. Beautiful Capricorn, and you got Star Ancestor. Beautiful. Okay. I love these cards. Heed to the messages coming directly from your soul. The Star Ancestors is a Native American term for extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to the healing and growth of the world. These incredible beings are the divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the sky and see the stars. I believe that's because they are remembering their starry connections and those are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you're willing to be helped. They can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey, Capricorn. Not only were you born on a purpose, 
not where you're only were you born on purpose you were born for a purpose you're born to bring a bright light in the world and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information but memories your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul you're being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continuing following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Awesome Capricorn. Hold on for a second. My dogs are snoring. My babies are in here. Hey, chill. All right. Goodness gracious, girlfriend. It's my pit bull. She snores. All right. So, Let's look. Now that you got the star ancestor coming out, we definitely doing the stars, the Oracle Capricorn. What the heck is going on with y'all? Looks like y'all are dealing with maybe some shadow work. Um, maybe you're going also through an awakening process. Don't know yet until I get in the tarot. We will look further into it. And I'm getting hot, so... The channeling has begun. All right. Whew. I don't know about you other spiritualists out there, but when I get hot, that's coming out. I'm letting it come out. When I get hot, it's like any time I feel, it's an empath thing. I'm telling you, I can feel energies from people. Let's see what came out. Called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. See y'all. This is a spiritual reading. Capricorn. I love it. Okay. Let me get you a little bit of color for a second. I'm excited for y'all. All right, called. Eek. I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? Because my husband's a Capricorn and he has lots of magic and energy in him. And he just, this man is a walking shaman and he just won't step into his purpose. But look what the higher self is doing for y'all Capricorn. You don't have a choice. All right. So this is you, Capricorn. You're standing at the door. You came to Earth with a double mission, Capricorn, to grow as a soul and to bring about a shift in consciousness. The best way to fulfill these personal and collective purposes is to trust what is that your soul is calling you toward, for it's encoded within the most direct path forward. Your soul has many unique gifts that it came here to share. Some you may already be aware of, others you're just beginning to uncover. You're being called to remember that your soul intelligently chose the perfect conditions to carry out your soul's mission and share your soul's gifts. If you're being called toward a creative project, a passion, or an adventure, this card is your confirmation that you're facing the right way and that this moment right here is destined. If you're feeling underprepared or thinking, who am I to do that? This card is guiding you to step up and leap. And consider perhaps that your soul has been training for this moment right here for lifetimes. All right, guys, since you cannot, this is called a star seed activation. So I want you to close your eyes or stare deep into this card and place your hand over your heart chakra, which is right in the middle of your chest. And I want you to say these words to yourself or out loud. Are you ready? I call forth the soul gifts and soul training that I've received throughout all my lifetimes. I am ready to embody them all now without hesitation or fear. I fully commit to being here now. I am ready to step into my soul's highest and most potent calling. I've been training for this for lifetimes. Capricorn, you just broke my heart in a million pieces. Uh, Y'all are going through the awakening. Okay. All right. Let's see what Tarot has to say. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Capricorn, for tuning in and honoring me with your presence so I can do this and channel you correctly. Okay. All right. Let's get it going. We're going to do the cross of truth. 
All right. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, you got the chariot. <laughs> All right, we have the chariots. Let's see. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Chariot came out first. Let's get the second card. Oh, see how they flip? Don't you love that? Oh, I'm so excited. You got two, seven of cups, and then you got the magician. Okay. It tries to get down a little bit more. Maybe I'll move you right here. I just want to make sure y'all can see it. Okay. Four. Oh. Knight of Swords. Ooh, Capricorn. What is happening with y'all? There's a spiritual reading in this. Okay, we're going to see what the outcome is here. I'm excited for y'all. Come on. Thank you, Spirit, for Capricorn. Yes. Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Creator. I love doing the readers. <laughs> I just like when the spirit pops them out for you, you know? Come on. Oh, almost. Something's trying to come, but it's like, eh, not yet. <laughs> oh, y'all got the Hierophant. That's your outcome. Okay, Saturn. What are y'all doing? What's going on, Saturn? Yeah, I called y'all that. Because mm -hmm, that's your planet. All right. Give me a second while I stare at these and see what the F is going on with y'all. Okay. Whoo, Charles. Look at that. That's a beautiful reading right there. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Whew. All right. This is your current situation right here, the chariot. Okay. Basis or your present situation, um, and it is the chariot, okay? And the chariot basically represents, let me hold this up for you, see, see Miss Thing here in the whole chariot, and she's got the Finx sitting there just waiting to be told what to do. And the chariot is triumph, and um, strength is needed, so this is the basis of your situation right now. You're waking up to your spirituality and you have been through hard times, Capricorn, and you triumphed, you didn't give up, you didn't quit. You see the sun over top of her head. Oh, sorry, there you go. Yeah, you see the sun over top of her head and she's like, bitch, living my best life. They tried to stop me, but I can't stop, won't stop, okay? All right, so um, the second card is <laughs> desires. That's crazy that <laughs> this came out because this is your mind, Capricorn. Um, you have the Seven of Cups, and Seven of Cups represents emotions, okay? And um, right here with the Seven of Cups, you know, you got a lot on your mind. You got a lot to choose from. You got a lot of manifestations going on in your head. You're like, I want this. I want a promotion. I want a job. I want a amp up my superpowers i mean this is a serious reading for those who don't know tarot you have three three three's a master number by the way major arcanas that popped out for y'all that doesn't happen all the time okay so seven of cups represents feeling overwhelmed with you know choices Maybe, like I said, maybe you have a lot of manifestation things going on right now. Um, you have a lot of plans. You're like, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, I want to do that. And you got to make a choice right now. One step at a time, Capricorn. Stay strong, remember? Okay. So, the third position. What's helping you right now? Ha! <laughs> You're the magician. You're the manifester. You're the alchemist. You are Saturn. You are Capricorn. This is your universe, Capricorn. And what spirit is telling you and your star ancestors and everyone is stop thinking negative. Start thinking positive on what you want. Okay? Because you are the creator of your little world. All right? You are an aspect of source creator, the most high. And you are basically a little god. 
operating as a human in this school we call life, okay? That's what's helping you right now. All right, guys, what is challenging you right now? Um, Knight of Swords, all right? Swords is thoughts, air, stuff like that. And um, basically what is challenging you is you're too serious. And Capricorn's very serious. You're very stern. You're very, oh, this is, this is childish and, you know, I need to watch the news. And you need to wake up to who you really are, which is this. This is you. This is hurting you. Being all super serious, being chaotic, quick-minded, hot-tempered um, in your thoughts about what needs done and everything. So your challenge, what you need to work on, what well, this is your homework assignment. I want, your, I want you to enjoy life, Capricorn. I want you to heal that inner child. Look up on Google on how to heal your inner child, okay? Because I feel like a lot of y'all have had some abuse um, not just physical, maybe molestation. So what you need to do is the stuff I had to do. I had to work on my inner child. I had to work on my shadow work. I had to realize that not everything is love and light and that in order for me to embrace the light, I have to also embrace the dark and everything that I have hidden away, everything that I've pushed aside, uh, that everything that I tried to block out was never blocked out. It was just waiting to explode. So you work on that, okay? And your outcome, you got the Hierophant. <laughs> got this priestly fellow here, yeah? Look at him in all his garb. And you know, you see that planet in the background. This is the outcome of your life, all right? That is a major arcana, the Hierophant, all right? And <clears throat> the Hierophant represents traditional values, a wise person who provides guidance. You're going to gain wisdom through your magic and the fact that you're strong and you have the strength and you're moving on, you're moving forward. I'm so proud of you, Capricorn. This is a beautiful reading. I'm super happy about it. I'm so happy about it. I want to ask Spirit if there's anything else they want to tell you. Thank you, Spirit. That was beautiful. I just saw something. Capricorn, look at the bottom of the deck energy. You got the devil. You know who that is? That's why they had me pick up these cards. The devil is also a major arcana, but in tarot, we all have little, like, I think chariot represents cancer. Um... Death represents Scorpio. So anytime we see death come up in a Scorpio reading, we're never afraid. It's, it's a death to things. It's an ending to things. Capricorn, <laughs> this is y'all. So your card, it was at the bottom of the deck the whole time. So this is a really serious energy. Like, yep, Saturn showed up. I mean, it is what it is. You know, we got, we got old karma here and limitations. This is why y'all act so limited. You're so bound because you're just like, oh, I'm so OCD. I've always liked it this way. I don't like change. I don't like, I like structure. I always do it this way. And in order to awaken to the true, to you, number one, you got to come out of that little quick-minded, hot-tempered, structured person you are and embrace the outcome, wisdom, values. I love this reading. I'm sorry, I do. And uh, I appreciate your patience and hanging out with me. And um, if this resonates with you guys, just please let me know down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell if you haven't already. And I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for tuning in and y'all have a great week. Thank you, Capricorn.